what's up guys, Will here, and this is a re video response to Oliver is so cool. I think that's his name. Anyways, uh, this is a compact counter, I think, what you're looking for. Um, so it's, uh, I think it was 9 by 4, and then like 20 something long. Hold on, I'm trying to pick these up. It's a pet peeve. So the outputs are right here. And it starts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, real quick, I know you probably already know this, but you can just as easily do this. You probably already know that. I'm just. You can also, if you want your outputs going out to the side, you just do that. It's not that bad. It's perfect for going underground because the output goes above it. So, that's one plus. Now for the demonstration. So I hit one. One comes on. I hit it again. Another comes on. And guess what? Oh, whoops. It was that button glitch where you hit it too quickly and nothing comes on. What? There we go. What was that? I don't know what was happening. Five. I'll go back. Six. Seven. Now go back down. I don't know what it was doing. I probably was hitting the button too quickly. That's going back down. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll just test four again to show it does work fine. See it now. So it's all good. So this works really pretty fine. Now we can show you its speed. So go from zero to ten starting now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll turn that off. And we'll go back down to zero. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So it's pretty quick. I don't know, but if you want to test this out for yourself or look at it, you can look at the description. And I'm going to set up one cell real quick just so you can check it out, see what it looks like in each cell. Alright so I tried to explain this a couple times before but it lasted too long so we'll download in the description and I'll do a brief explanation. Each of these represent R snore latches. Each R snore latch affects the next um, sort of AND gain I guess. So if you look here this is the first, this is the count up, the count up. If you look over here it's the count up mechanism. So no wait, this is the wave. I should face, yeah. So this is your first, this is your number one. So it by default doesn't have a lock, it doesn't have an AND gate, I guess we could call it an AND gate. So it will turn on when the other ones are off. But the check is affected by the RS Nor latch, so the RS Nor latch, one set, will turn the check off, and the check makes sure when I do release all these torches will turn off which would normally send a signal through unless these checks are on so if you look here when I remove this torch the check is keeping it off but if you look here when I remove this torch it sends a signal through anyways so if I hit this real quick you'll see one goes through so yeah and then that get this gets set and then two goes through oh well, I held it on too long because if you see it turns it the check off or the lock off. So the next time I press the torch, it will set it to two. And now that two is on, three turns on. So count up mechanism. Ism. Mechanism. And this is the countdown essentially the same thing but in a different direction and shaped a little bit differently so if you look here in order for it to send a signal through the previous one has to be off so if the if 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 uh... if i was doing this these are each of my thingies each of my arsenal latches and i'm up to three the previous one has to be off in order to in order for it to send a signal, the one after has to be off. So if this is off, it would send a signal to there. 
to re it was sent a reset to there. So if you look here, this is affected by the highest number, and if the uh, where is it right here by default the highest number does not have a check because your highest number is your highest number so you can't have any numbers after that so that's where it gets tricky with going to a hundred when you have two sets of two counters never mind but by default you see it has no check in the back even though these do if I were to turn this off it would send a signal to here which would reset since it's inverted I'm not going to go over there and show you but it's inverted because it's the RS nor latches it's on the other side so the check is on because this is off it says the previous one has to be off and since this is off this is the other side of the RS nor latch it's technically on so it's the, if you look this is this is the count up this is the countdown so since this is on this is off so if this is off and the other one is on, which it's just you get me. So when I said uh, uh, the uh, checks that are affected by the previous one are stayed on, they go over to here, they keep it off, as well as these torches above it. So when I hit it, you'll see a, a like send the signal through. So now that that one's set, now I'm going to turn that latch on to represent. The second one will turn on. Well, it just lags. All right. Now that the third one is reset, or the second one's reset, the third one will get reset. So that's how it works. World download in the description is probably a crappy explanation, but I just recorded it before and it was like seven minutes and you know it's just too long. And you're you're a smart dude, I think you can do this. So yeah, hopefully this helped and hopefully you you'll use this. One quick modification I just realized I could do. So I could no wait. I guess I could just do this. No, I couldn't. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I was just it was an idea in my head. I don't want to spend too long. But I made it as compact as I could get it in like ten, fifteen minutes and yeah. So here you go.